Yeah, good morning everybody. It is Sunday. Just finished up breakfast with Dawn. Here at Awake in Carrollton. I have some big news for you today. So let me get my GoPro adjusted. So welcome to Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. Beautiful day, although windy, here in uh, Carrollton, Texas. We, it looks to me like we're gonna have a really windy year. And wind is something I absolutely hate. Not my favorite weather condition for riding. So we hit a milestone last night on my YouTube channel. I am pleased to report that we now have 40,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed. And I will say uh, what I've said before is that if you are passionate about motorcycles, uh, we would invite you to join the family and click that little subscribe button and that notification bell and become part of the family. Now, I did a video last week on uh, one of my motorcycle detailing series videos on how to maintain and clean and take care of your uh, motorcycle windshield. <clears throat> well, today I'm in uh, editing of my next video in that motorcycle detailing series where we're going to talk about how I wash my motorcycle. <clears throat> I use a two bucket method which is pretty standard. You can, you can find all kinds of videos on YouTube uh, that talk about the two bucket method of washing. But I'll talk about it a little more specifically uh, for motorcycles. And ultimately my goal is to lead up to uh, a video on how you can do your own uh, how to apply a ceramic coating uh, to your motorcycle but all of these are steps that are necessary prior to that point so one of the first things you do obviously is you have to wash the motorcycle and get it clean first and uh, we're going to talk about that in my video that hopefully will be coming up tomorrow or the next day just depends on uh, how long it's going to take me to get it all edited together. Now, I, based on your uh, requests, I've been reaching out to several local motorcycle dealers from various brands. I tried to get in touch with the national um, for like BMW USA, a motor, BMW Motor Red USA, uh, Indian, Triumph, some of the various brands to see about doing extended test rides and reviews of their motorcycles. And I had very little luck. I did get a reply back from Indian. That's the only one I got a reply back from. And they told me that I would have the ability to do a, a review of the Indian Challenger. But that was a couple of months ago, and then I never heard back from them again. And they, they never followed up with it. I don't even have a contact at Honda, believe it or not. So, I thought, well, I'll start reaching out to some local dealers. And so I reached out to a local Ducati dealership, a local BMW dealership, 
Um, I got replies, you know, just their auto reply back. And I basically am offering to, you know, um, talk about their dealership in my video. I'd like to be able to obviously do a review of different models of the motorcycle, expose my audience to these various brands and these various models, and have not had one single reply back from any of the local dealers. Now, maybe you can tell me, what the hell is the matter with these businesses? They're always talking about how to expand their business. They're always talking about how do we get more customers. Here is an opportunity for their product to be exposed to 40, potentially 40,000 or more. When I did the review of my 2021 Goldwing up in Oklahoma, I think I had over 150,000 views all from all over the world. It's not just Dallas, Texas. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I have to do to get these companies to recognize uh, the value of this type of exposure. So I'm open to suggestions because I think I'm doing everything I can on my end. Um, I mean, I don't want to just simply go to a dealership, walk in off the street and say, hey, can I take a test ride? I think it needs to be a little bit more than that. And where I live, these dealerships are, you know, 15, 20 miles away. It, it would take me a you know, pretty good ride, pretty good time to get there. I don't want to get all that way and then them say, oh, hey, we don't have one for you to test ride. I'd like to have a rapport, uh, some sort of a relationship with either the media press department of one of the, or several, all of the major brands in the U.S. That would be the ideal scenario, is that I'd be part of the press uh, group that they would maybe invite when they have press events to test ride new models. Um, I, I realize it's still a small channel, but it's a dedicated channel. It's a very passionate channel. This is a channel with 40,000 subscribers, most of whom own very expensive motorcycles. It's not like a channel with 40,000 Grom owners. Most of the people that subscribe to this channel have $25,000 or more invested in motorcycles. Some of you have multiple motorcycles. In other news, I'm also uh, in the planning stages of my trip to uh, West Texas that I do every spring. I am hoping that I will get out of here probably in a couple of weeks. I've got... Uh, a very joyous occasion coming up soon. I have to get a colonoscopy. One of those beautiful, wonderful, pleasurable experiences. Especially the day before you go in. That's always a joy. For those of you that have uh, done the colonoscopy prep, you know what I'm talking about. So it's been uh, three or five years, I don't remember, and uh, I have to go back and do another one. And once I get that out of the way, uh, I will be free to do my road trip. And hopefully the temperatures should be pretty pleasant that time of year. It should be late April, early May. And I will, uh, I will be moto-vlogging from that trip. And I was working in base camp yesterday. Got some more to tell you about here in a second on that. But I was working in base camp, laying out a different route. I won't be uh, on my trip to Midland. I'm going to be doing a different route uh, than I've done in many, many years. I won't be going on the interstate the entire way. I'm going to be taking a smaller highway that goes through some smaller towns. And uh, just try to make it a little more interesting. I think it'll be a little bit more interesting ride to West Texas than what you've seen me do in the past. 
maybe give us some other things to talk about. There's some really cool little towns in Texas, and uh, so I think we'll do a little small town Texas road trip on the way to West Texas. Now, let's talk about base camp. I've learned something interesting that many of you know I got this new uh, Macintosh uh, or MacBook Pro M1, the newest one, with the newest version of the Apple operating system and come to find out that the uh, base camp from Garmin latest version will not recognize the Zumo XT so it will not let it would basically it doesn't mount the drive it will not mount the can uh, the uh, GPS which means you can't import or export transfer files between the Zumo and Basecamp I was able to finally get Garmin Express to see my Zumo XT on the new on the new MacBook. It took a while, but I got it to work. Thank you to one of my subscribers out there who uh, sent me several emails and told me how he was able to get it to work on his. Thank you. I appreciate your help. It did help. So I'm going to do a video, an update on, a, on my Basecamp series for those of you that do have the new MacBook and I'll, I'll, ex, I'll do a video on how what you have to do to transfer your routes uh, between Basecamp and the new. You can do it, it's just a few extra little steps. So maybe Garmin will update uh, the Zumo to where it will work. Apparently the Zumo it uses like an Android system. So the, the Zumo is like a, oh, for lack of a better term, it's like, kind of like a cell phone. And it operates on the Android operating system, or at least the part that works, uh, you know, for transferring files. So there's some steps you have to take to get it to work with a Macintosh. Now, I'm not sure if it even works with the newest version of Windows. I have no idea because I don't have a Windows computer. So I will update my video on that. If any of you out there have a, a Zumo XT and you're using a Macintosh with the newest operating system and the, and the new M1 Mac, and you've tried this or been able to come up with any workarounds, please put it in the comments down below. Now, I'm done. I'm home. I'm getting ready to pull into the garage. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motovlogs.